All right, thank you, Jeff. A Bay Area congressman says, or congresswoman rather, says she is pushing for a vote that could lead to the arrest of the U.S. Attorney General. Ana Paulina Luna is a representative out of Pinellas County. She says voters elected her to push for government accountability. News Channel 8's Ty Russell joins us live from St. Petersburg. And Ty, I know Democrats are hoping to flip her seat, and they call all of this political theater. Yeah, Jen, Democrats are telling me that out of the entire state of Florida, they believe District 13, which includes Pinellas County, where I am standing, they are able to flip. However, the Congresswoman is telling me today that because of the work that she is doing in Washington, D.C., this seat is hers. Whether it's this way or another, we will get those tapes. Congresswoman Anna Polina Luna out of Pinellas County wants audio tapes from special counsel Robert Hur's classified documents investigation. That's when President Biden was described as old and forgetful. And now she plans to call for a vote to possibly arrest the U.S. Attorney General. Garland, if he wants to avoid this, let Congress hear the tapes. You cannot ignore this. The full House has already voted to hold the Attorney General in contempt, but the Department of Justice has declined to prosecute. President Biden has also used executive privilege to block the GOP's access to the tapes. I think this is just another one of Anna Paulina Luna's political theatrical stunts. Whitney Fox is one of several Democrats running to unseat the Congresswoman and flip the district. She believes this push to possibly arrest the U.S. Attorney General will backfire. This is really all she knows what to do is to get attention to chase headlines, but it doesn't really address the issues that people are facing here in Pinellas County. Experts say it's easier for a Republican to get elected in District 13, but it's not a guarantee. What does this mean for folks here in St. Pete? I think people in St. Pete and in Florida and Tampa Bay are really looking at her and saying why. St. Pete College political science professor Tara Newsom says the congresswoman is also appealing to her base in an effort to keep her job. I think what she's really doing is really saying I'm definitely in line with Donald Trump. I'm in line with the MAGA policies, which are. Now, the Congresswoman is hoping to call for a vote on Friday. Now, as for the penalty phase of this, whether the Attorney General will be arrested, she says that's up to the Speaker of the House. Now, coming up today at 6, I was able to follow up in a Zoom interview with the Congresswoman asking her why people in Pinellas County should care. But for now, live in St. Pete, I'm Ty Russell, 8 on your side.